Deli idea. Oh, welcome to week 43 of Blob on a Bike. Uh, I was unable to talk much when I was riding up that hill then, of course. Uh, I needed both hands. It is super windy today, it's over 55 mile an hour wind. I don't really know what I'm doing up on the coastal path again. Uh, since I did say last week that I wouldn't be doing that again when it's windy. And it's worse today, but uh, there is a reason. Bit of a funny week coming up this week. Um, allow me to explain. Uh, I have to take my accounts over to the Isle of Wight one day this week. It was due to be Thursday, um, but uh, unfortunately the UK is due to go into a lockdown again on, uh, on Thursday. So I've had to bring that forward, so it's now Wednesday. Uh, I've also got a job, a big sticker job that needs to go out by the weekend. So I'm going to be really super short on time uh, this week. I'm just going to start that job this afternoon. Uh, so realistically, this could be the only chance I have to get out this week. Um, perhaps on, on Thursday I might want, no I won't, I'll be on the Isle of Wight of course, so uh, that won't be happening. Uh, so it might be a bit of a funny old week this week. So I wanted to get out and do a good old ride today, um, because the weather's not so bad, 50% chance of rain. It has rained this morning already and it winged it down, but um, it's okay at the moment. Uh, so I haven't got my big coat on, it is pretty warm when you get in the sun. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this ride. Uh, I am going to be heading back down the coastal path into Whitmouth Bay today, um, unless it's too sketchy, really too sketchy when I get there, because that's closer to the edge there. Uh, oh man, what a silly idea today, but I just need to go out and get some exercise. <laughs> I hope you had a good weekend and got out. Let me know in the comments. Okay, so this uh, will probably be quite good fun. It will definitely be really sketchy. Uh, but I'm going to go careful today because I do know my limitations. Uh, I'm not uh, Hans Ray, if you know that is. Uh, give us a like if uh, you know who Hans Ray is, what a legend. Um, anyway, so I'm heading that way, down the coastal path. I hope I don't get blown over. better ideas but you can argue that it is beautiful up here so I've uh, peaked uh, on the top of the coast path over there I'm pretty much downhill now to uh, Widmouth Bay which is where I'm headed before I go off road uh, back towards the man cave it will not be fast it will be sketchy just pick a line and hope that's the one you end up going down because the wind is just relentless and then it just stops and then it comes back in the opposite direction you never know where you're going to end up uh, I think I've done most of the sketchy parts close to the edge but uh, I would normally be really looking forward to riding down a path like this downhill but uh, it's too sketchy to enjoy really today but it is an experience I'll give you that CD. What the hell is that? Uh, people do come up here to uh, do things that you shouldn't really do if you need to talk to someone, if you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to get back and watch this. And I hope it's not what I'm imagining it, because this is a notorious place really around here. Okay, I've actually cut my short, cut my ride short today because uh, although I'm sure it's nothing, someone could be in peril, man. That's a weird thing to find. Why would it be right on a cliff head? And why would it have an SOS video CD written on it? And loads of them, like they definitely want someone to find it. 
so I'm just a fat bloke on the bike at the moment trying to get back as quickly as possible mental health is a bad problem these days it's probably nothing and none of this will get in the video but uh oh man just feel a bit weird at the moment I just want to get back and watch a video and uh hopefully it's nothing sinister okay I've just got back and got these DVDs here it's weird they all say SOS video on but all with a different stamp so I'm going to watch these and uh see what's going on uh, but I'm turning the camera off now well I don't, don't think it's anything to worry about uh, it is weird there's about 20 DVDs here um they are all sealed in these little bags and when I view them I've watched two of them so far and they all appear to be the same well these two that I've seen so far have been the same and it's just a weird like hour-long footage of like massacres and stuff like that uh, not people getting injured and all that sort of thing like news reports and all that sort of stuff about it it is very very strange let's see I've just put another one in yeah this is the same it is i'm not going to show it because it's probably someone attention seeking but uh um i will contact the local police and see whether uh, you know because it is a bit weird it says sos on it and it's on a headland um so it, i don't know what to do actually but uh, i'm going to figure it out and uh, do something with these okay well i'm pretty certain it's uh, nothing sinister um it could be someone's uh, kind of idea of a sick joke leaving uh, something with that written on it on the top of a headland. Uh, there are some idiots out there after all. Uh, and as you can see, there's a bunch of them. But they all appear to be the same. I have now reported them to uh, Bude Police. Um, I don't think anyone's in danger or anything like that. It's just some weird uh, news reports and stuff. Uh, but it might be related to something they've got going on in the background down there. So anyway, um, I'm waiting to hear back from them. There's no telephone number to speak to someone, obviously. It's 2020 after all, so you can never contact anyone. Um, but uh, I will keep you posted if anything exciting out or uh, newsworthy happens when they get back to me. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I have finished my bike ride, so I better finish my Strava. How do we get on today? We did 12.18 miles. I was hoping for a little bit more than that today, but uh, as I say I, in my um, video there, I did have to cut it short a little bit to sort of rush back. Um, you know, equally, yeah, as it does appear that someone's having a bit of a laugh, it's uh, a silly laugh. Um, it could have also been someone in peril or a cry for help or something like that. So, uh, you know, uh, it was uh, it was uh, the right thing to do, I think, to race back and have a quick look and uh, just check that no one's in danger or anything. Uh, but I don't think they are. Anyway, uh, that's it for today. I will try and get out on my bike tomorrow, um, but I have got a hell of a lot of printing work I need to do uh, before the end of this week, and I'm away on Thursday. So, anyway, that is it for today. I will see you soon. Morning guys, so it is uh, Tuesday morning and I have found myself in a situation where I can go out on my bike. Uh, didn't think I'd have time today. I've got a big sticker order I need to go out today, but I made good progress on those yesterday. Uh, about another five hours of printing to go on those. Anyway, so I'm heading out on my bike. The weather obviously is absolutely rubbish. Uh, it's below 10 degrees today and it is raining on and off. Uh, so I'm going to go with my full wet weather gear today. My ride did get cut short yesterday because of uh, those uh, silly DVDs. Weird story. Anyway, um, so I'm going to do the extended loop, which I was intending to do yesterday. Uh, and it really is a bonus bike ride because I honestly didn't think I'd be able to get out today. But I'm going, so I'll see you later. Yeah, it's still pretty windy, but uh, not as bad as yesterday. But the sea is raging. Not the best day for a ride, but uh, it's quite good fun actually. Well, it looks like I'm going to get wet. It's absolutely belting us down over there. And it's coming straight for me. I won't outrun it, no point. So, uh, just have to embrace it and enjoy uh, a bit of mud, a bit of sliding. I do wish it was summer though. <laughs> First lot of rain actually did manage to miss me. It's, uh, it's over there now, but there is uh, plenty more where that came from. Uh, so I'm still planning for rain and to get soaked. But uh, for now, I'm on the coastal path. It's definitely not as windy as it was yesterday, 
Uh, but it's still not a nice uh, nice day uh, to ride. It's uh, still getting blown sideways, so uh, it still will be a bit sketchy. But uh, hopefully my pants won't be as brown as they could have been yesterday. The wind really got hold of me then. You can see, perhaps see the line there. I was riding up high and the wind suddenly took me, so I overcompensated. And I've ended up here. That's pretty sketchy because a lot of the path is a lot closer to the edge uh, than I am now. Man, this is sketchy. <laughs> I think I'm pretty much at the highest point now. I've got a nice little downhill section here that snakes down and then comes back up the other side. That's really steep. And then it is pretty much downhill to Wynmouth Bay from there. It's just hard work. The wind is constantly changing direction. So, uh, you know, one minute it's blowing you uh, onshore, the next it whips around and it's the opposite direction. I don't think I'll be doing this again, to be honest, but uh, I probably will, won't I? <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice ride. Just show me some blooming windy. Go away. to me yet uh, a bit weird but uh, never mind I'm gonna chill out here for a second and make my way back down well that is the end of today's coastal path ride uh, it's not the end of my ride, but it's the end of the coastal path part. Heading on the road for a little bit, and I'll connect onto the footpath that goes across that field. Uh, but I'm going this way just to add a little bit of length to my ride. This is energy sapping. I'm riding up here. I must have done about a mile already from down there. And it's just a hard, hard slog. There was a little bit where there was a nice dry part of the path which was uh, more hard packed but now someone's put loads of this rubble and stuff they're building a wall oh hopefully i'm near the top i thought that was it but there's another bit that goes past there think of the calories i'm burning check out the starlings come over this way this on camera. I see it all the time when I'm driving. Come back. I'm pretty sure they're starlings. If anyone knows otherwise, uh, do let me know. It's called a mammarus or something of starlings when they do that. Anyway, I've got to get back and do some work. <laughs> well, 
This is definitely a slop face today. I reckon I've got a load of mud all over my face. <sighs> Hard work. I definitely uh, have uh, done it today. I am tired out. But tomorrow I am off to the Isle of Wight for the day. Uh, so I do need to preempt some uh, calorie burning because there'll probably be some uh, motorway service station food tomorrow. I'm not proud, but it doesn't happen very often. <sighs> and I like it. So uh, it's okay, moderation. And I do get quite a lot of exercise, so nah. Yeah, I'm quite muddy at this rate. I think I'm gonna have to uh, service my bike within the next couple of years. It's filthy. Okay, uh, now I've got a dry set of clothes on, I feel much better. I uh, have to say, my legs are absolutely killing me. That was brutal. Uh, we did 13.46 uh, miles there. Uh, it took a long time. It was just sloppy and slow, hard grind. But uh, I'm really pleased about that because I have, must have burnt quite a lot of calories there. <sighs> I'm just absolutely knackered now. Could have a lay down. <laughs> anyway, uh, I have got loads of work to do, actually, so I won't be having to lay down, that's for sure. Anyway, um, I'll be on the road tomorrow, so I might not see uh, much of you then. But um, until then, I will see you when I can. Hopefully on Thursday, I might get a little bit in uh, on the bike, but we'll have to wait and see. The weather's meant to be really good. Uh, so hopefully, until then, get out there and get on with it. It's Tuesday, no cycling for me today, but what a lovely day for a jolly to the Isle of Wight. Tuesday, it's actually Wednesday, my mistake. This is really weird, uh, my passenger is recording this, but uh, I used to work here, I started this as an estate agent in this little town in the Isle of Wight called Ventnor, and this house on the corner here, if you can see it up there, probably couldn't see it, but uh, I, w well, I went in that house once when we had it on the market, and um, it's now been abandoned, because this whole lot of the uh, hillside is just slipping into the sea gradually, uh, it's called subsidence and it's very common actually in uh, places near the sea and uh, even in land sometimes but uh, I love this old place a lovely old Victorian town so I'm gonna go and uh, film, film, uh, film the sunset this evening well what a lovely place this is Ventnor and I'm just gonna chill here and record the sunset uh, been a long time since I sat on the beach and watched the sunset so today's my day what an awesome sunset this evening. Um, I will put a quick time lapse in today's video, so I hope you don't mind. If you don't like it, just skip forward. Uh, but for anyone who's actually interested in watching the whole video, uh, I'll put a link up here somewhere, or I'll type it on the screen or something, and you can watch a whole hour long sunset video because it was a wicked sunset. building here used to have a Banksy on it and the council came and take it off quick smart wallies 
in actual fact, Banksy's has done a few uh, pieces. There's another piece somewhere in front now that's probably been taken down as well. Uh, but there has been a few pieces uh, over the years. I'll try and show you some pictures. That was quite a nice little trip to the Isle of Wight for today. Um, I have to obviously bring my accounts over today, but uh, normally what I would do is pop and see a couple of family members. My parents both live on the island, and my wife's uh, mum and her partner both live on the island, just up the road from my mum. And actually, I met my wife on the Isle of Wight. That's why we, uh, we well, we got lots of family here. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> that is it for today. Um, I was actually due to travel tomorrow, which would be bonfire night. Um, so I was actually looking forward to seeing all the fireworks all night, all evening on the way home. Uh, it takes about three and a half, four hours to drive home once I've got off the ferry. It's a, it is a long old trip. Um, and I was looking forward to that. But luckily, there is a number of fireworks popping off tonight, so I should still see some. And actually, in fact, the chicken kiosk that I just drove to, I used to actually work in there. I used to work for this company, Red Funnel. Um, and uh, work uh, at the ferries. I used to load all the cars in this car park. That was about 10 years ago before I got married. Oh, you can see my little mini right at the front there. First one on, first one off. So I'm sitting outside today because I don't want to sit inside with anyone else. So double jacket, you probably can't even see my face. Double jacket, woolly hat, and this thing for my face. Check it out. This is cows. That's West Cows over there famous uh, boat show thingy, Cows Week, just over there, very posh, anyway I'm going to enjoy the ride and see you later. Hello guys, so welcome back to the end of week 43 of Blob on a Bike. Uh, it's been a funny old week this week, um, pretty sure I didn't get out and do much at the weekend, um, however on Monday and Tuesday I got a ride out both days. Monday was cut a bit short because I found those weird DVDs up on the headland. Um, and Tuesday I did manage to pull out of the bag the full route that I was planning to take on Monday. And it was pure slop. Um, when I got back to the man cave I literally could have slept because I was so knackered. Uh, it was 13 miles or 13 and a half miles, something like that. And it was just pure draining. Um, but it was good fun and I'm glad I did it and I got caked in mud so always good fun so uh, other than that I've obviously been to the Isle of Wight to drop my accounts off um, and that did involve a little bit of uh, motorway service station type food if you know what I'm saying uh, so I haven't really got my hopes set too high this week um, but only the way in will tell so I'll get on with that in a second um, just for the record all that kind of thing I haven't got to do any more trips in the car or anything like that so service station food is off the menu now until Christmas um, so I've got to clear run it up until Christmas to uh, bang out some more calories and uh, bring it down some more so let's get on with the way in and I'll be back in a second so my weight at the end of last week I believe was 105.95 kilos so I rounded up to 106 which of course was my overall target was 106 kilos so I'm bang on or I was last week so let's get into it and see uh, how we're getting on this week hello Oh, it's done that thing again where it changes the bloody thing. Okay, I've changed the setting, so let's get to it. Ouch. <laughs> Okay, well, well my weigh in there, as you saw, was 107.4 kilos, which is 1.4 kilos over my target, which is not great. But uh, in, the, in my defense, um, I haven't really got a defense, um, but <laughs> you know, I did eat quite some bad food this week, uh, which is not great, but um, people who watch my uh, vlog regularly will know we don't live anywhere near any fast food outlets so when we're on the road and we go past it uh, we do indulge uh, so I did have a, a Burger King and a uh, KFC actually on Wednesday when I popped to the Isle of Wight um, which is not good but you know what can I do it's done and uh, now I need to redeem myself and get back on it over the next few weeks before Christmas uh, so I can enjoy myself a little bit over Christmas period as well. Um, anyway, if you got this far, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, please do subscribe because it does help me out. Leave a comment below and a like. I will reply to your comment. Um, so thank you very much for watching. And in the meantime, I'll see you next week. Get on with it.